All right, check, check. Hey, welcome to another uh, series. Actually, this is episode two, uh, season one of uh, The Attic, an electronic music series brought to you by Who's Music Radio. Uh, well, today we got a special guest. Hold on, let me actually turn up his mic before I forget. Uh, we have a special guest. Uh, he's been called the Casanova of San Diego. I've heard uh, the Lothario of the D of the house of the house uh, scene. Uh, our good friend and uh, local uh, San Diego pretty boy, <laughs> Myron Eugene. Hey, what's up, guys? It's good to be here. Hold on, let me scoot you there over yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. All right, so hey, uh, uh, thank you for coming on. Actually, you know, uh, uh, it was it wasn't actually last like a last minute booking, but we kind of like asked you when Fresh was here, and we're like, God, who, who would be a, a you know a, a number two to get on here that that everybody nice. knows is in the house scene? And yeah. right away we thought about Myron Eugene. Nice. Well, hey, I, I don't mind not batting lead off or in the number three spot. You know, two <laughs> the two holes good with me. <laughs> two holes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, so our our good friend, he's a producer. In San Diego, uh, an up-and-comer, Egg Wax. I don't know if you ever heard of him. Yeah. yeah. So uh, he's uh, he, he he said a lot of good things about you, and he's like, man, I heard Myron Eugene the other day. It was a while back ago, and uh, he said you got a fire set. So I hope you brought that same fire and that same energy today. Nice. And yeah, we're gonna uh, we're gonna have some fun. We're gonna go on a little journey tonight, and uh, we'll see where we end up. Exactly. So hey, once again, thank you for tuning in, and let's get the party started. Let's go.
all right all right all right hold on Woo. hey we just hit we just hit right now the the halfway point of the show go ahead yeah. and put that mic closer to you yes 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 uh oh. yo i'm it was fun. We got a little, a uh, little underground. We got a little emotional. We got in touch with our, uh, our deep and personal feminine side. But it's okay. I'm a Gemini, so. I mean, I feel like you took me on a, on an adventure. I, <laughs> I, I, I laid back on the couch, and then I was just like, I was just like, where, where is he taking I me? I thought right I saw you <laughs> in my mind's eye right somewhere. There. Yeah, I was like, man, I, I should really be drinking right now. That's what I told myself. Something. But no, no, no. So far, an amazing set. A uh, couple of questions, sure. if you don't mind. How long have you been DJing in San Diego? In San Diego, man, I've been DJing for about 17 years, I think. 15, 16, uh, 17 years. And that's just yeah. like everywhere all over San Diego? And all over San and, Diego, yeah. And you travel everywhere too, probably. I've had the good luck to, uh, and good fortune to DJ all over the country and in several other countries as well. Favorite country to, favorite country to DJ at? Oof, it's a close one between Brazil and Spain. Oh, pick one. You can only pick one. Oh, man. Brazil. Brazil. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> do you also, do you, you don't just DJ, right? Do you do, you do like production? I know you, because I, I know you, sorry, by the way, he wanted to play the guitar today and we had a little malfunction, but I know you play the guitar. Yeah, what else? I, um, I do. I do uh, produce music. Um, I've got uh, my two most recent tracks are out on Dear Dear. Uh, label, which is a, a really cool underground house music label out of the Ukraine, uh, as a matter of fact. Oh, okay. And um, they're great people to work with. And uh, it's it's been even more meaningful and cool to work with them during you know this time when you know they're you know under attack and, and dealing with war. And so it puts things in perspective. But yeah, I've been moving into the live music range, and uh, and I've been incorporating some of that when I DJ um, at certain sets. I'll bring my uh, guitar and also a pandemic purchase uh, a keytar that keytar. I play. Yeah, keytar. Yeah, I'm a child. I'm a, a teenager in the '80s. So people that don't know what a keytar is, explain to them what's a keytar. A keytar. I know. By the way, I know what it is. Yeah. <laughs> a keytar is basically a keyboard, but you can strap it around your shoulder, and it's got a little handle right here with some effects on it. But you can kind of play it like this. And, uh, you know, just go on to YouTube and just 80s and just keytar, Google. keytar in general. and uh, Just, just yeah. Google it and then you'll yeah. find something. Yeah. No. It's just ridiculous, to be totally honest, <laughs> but it is. It's the most over-the-top, <laughs> silly, ostentatious thing you could do. So, yeah, I guess it fits me, you know. You, we got we got to have you back here again. And then this time For we'll sure. try to get the equipment. We'll, For we'll, sure. We'll show up a little bit earlier and For set sure. everything up right. For sure. We'll get everything then, dialed yeah. in. And yeah. you got to bring your keytar. I'll bring it the all. Guitar next time. and then the, just, the guitar set, and the guitar. Just, yeah, just, just set it all off. Yeah. <laughs> so where where is your next uh, event happening pretty soon here? Um, my next couple of gigs are here in San Diego. Uh, locally, I'm at uh, Lumi, which I have a residency there. Um, uh, and then after that, I'm at this place called STK. It's brand. I think it's brand new. Honestly, I don't know. But those are my next two. Oh, okay. Two gigs coming up in All right, San so Diego. So here in San Diego. Yeah, yeah, All yeah. Right, awesome, awesome. Well, look, I got some more questions, but we'll save these for the end. That way, when we're done, we'll just be like, ah, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All well, right. Let's do this. Well, let's get back into let's the get mix. Get into hour two. Yeah, hour right. two. Let's get into the mix, Myron Eugene. Yes. Thank you guys again. Let's go.
caballo le dan sabana, porque muy despreciado por eso, no te perdono llorar. Ese amor llega así, esta manera, no tiene la culpa. Caballo le dan sabana, porque muy despreciado por eso. Bye.
news, but that's why it's so funny. I'm tired of chasing thrills. I got the money, money. I got the dollar bills, but that's why it's so funny. I'm tired of chasing thrills. Tired of chasing thrills. Tired of chasing
and I need money, and I'm trying to holler. He know he's giving his money to me. He know it's very expensive to date me. Tell him go put my name on that account because when I need money, I ain't trying to wait. I can't be fucked with no. Oh, you can't touch this. Hey, bitch, I need mean rich shit, huh? My money's thick, thick. Walk with a milk, milk, huh? I'm on some pimp shit. I 
Wow, hey, hold on, let me let me go to the interview mode here because uh I'm gonna let you know right now. You had you had our mutual friend right there in the background. Hold on, by the way, I almost forget. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, yo, you always forget the mic. <laughs> uh, you had our mutual friend in the background just pretty much tearing up at oh, a certain point. He nice. was like, Yo, what's going on? <laughs> I was like, I'm not gonna lie, at a certain point uh during your set, you took me back to like the LA warehouse. Uh, epic, you know, warehouse party days. Absolutely. And I was just like, holy shit. I was like, man, especially when you played the Mighty Dubcats uh, yeah, <laughs> remix there. Look at that. Like, Yo, yeah, come on. And then, yeah. and then uh, I was just like, oh, man, this is amazing. And then Oya Como Va was in there, right? Yes, sir. Dude. Oya Como Va, Bambaleo. Oh, a couple of, man. A couple of our, you know, our Latin roots classics, you know. I feel like everybody in this room probably was uh, 
genetically predisposed to hearing those <laughs> songs. <laughs> the, the Gypsy, Gypsy Kings. Kings. Yeah, we, we got after it a little yeah. bit, you know. And then and then you just went, you were here, and then all of a sudden you went here. Yeah. And that's when it got like, like holy shit, dude. Like, mm-hmm. especially the, not this last song, but the one before that one. Right. Wow, I was just like, right. man, that yeah. was incredible. Yeah. I mean, eventually, I, I, I no matter how long my set is, like we're gonna figure out a way to end it on some love. You know what I mean? Like, Definitely. I don't know. I mean, I mean, you called me Casanova at the beginning. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> By the way, not my you, fault. <laughs> if you missed out. You gotta go check out the replay on YouTube. I mean, it was an epic set. You, I mean, thank you. Amazing, I, man. It was so much fun being here. Like, what a good space and like good vibes in here. And I mean, yeah, <laughs> just freedom to be yourself. That's 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 really kind of a. Uh, it's kind of like a Shangri-La for us DJs nowadays, you know? It's like our nirvana. It's like our zen. Like, you just do you. And uh, uh, that's really cool that you guys curated that. And, uh, oh, yeah, of course. And it's become, you know, it's, it's somewhere where people could express themselves. Because, you, you know, you're always in this box when you go out and DJ, right? 100%. And it's like, especially when you go to certain venues, they're like, you can only do this. Or, right. hey, we only want this type of right. electronic music right. and nothing Absolutely. else. So here we try to create that space to where... Nah, do whatever you want. We want to hear stuff that you like and that people have never heard. So that's kind of what what, what we're doing here, and hopefully it it, it grows and expands, right? Yeah, it will. I the mean, attic. it will. Like I mean, like I said, I, I'm 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 hitting in the two hole. I'm happy to be there. <laughs> um, vamos los padres. Um, <laughs> and yeah, super fun. And this is uh, this is something that I, I can already see a lot of other DJs are gonna want to come here. Just so they'll be like, let me go in here and express myself. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's and, like, and try new stuff. And try new play, stuff. Play new music. Yeah, that stuff, and, you know. Yeah, and, or do like me and just go all over the place. So, you know? <laughs> so, so Fresh Bar told me to ask you about your nickname. You, you have another nickname? Uh, yeah. What yeah, is it? Yeah. What is it? Go ahead. Tell us. Uh, it's called Chato. <laughs> and, um, remember when I said Brazil? Yes. It's my favorite place I've ever DJed. Uh, so I had a Brazilian girlfriend and then another one. And then one more after that. But apparently, <laughs> so that's many, the side well, of the point. Let's here? get back to No, let's no. not. Chateau uh, is basically, uh, she started calling me Chateau, my main girlfriend. And she's called, I was like, oh, that sounds cool. Yeah, I'm down with that. And she called me Chateau so much. Her friends called me Chateau. And I knew they all knew what it was. And finally, I asked, like, hey, Chateau, what does it mean? They're like, oh, it means, like, pain in the butt. Like, the <laughs> stubbornness, like gonna do what everybody else wants to do we're gonna do the opposite like the most stubborn pain in the ass doesn't listen to anybody and i was like uh. and after thinking about it for you know deeply thinking about it for about 16 seconds i realized oh yeah that's me so chateau, chateau and is. also look for new music coming from um a new project we all have um it's called chateau's revenge <laughs> And sorry to goodness, this is a real thing. We're going to have some new music go out under that name or moniker, oh, Chateau's Revenge. Amazing. Yeah. yeah. So do you want to plug all your socials right now? I mean, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here. You can find me, Myron Eugene, uh, fan page of uh, Instagram, uh, Facebook, um, Spotify. My music is all on Spotify, SoundCloud. Um, I think that's all I'm on. I think I ditched Twitter and <laughs> I'm so old. I'm probably, an, I don't have TikTok. but if any of you guys want to help me out and run it for me or explain it to me, <laughs> <laughs> help, that's what he said. <laughs> call, call this I, number. Yeah, call me, <laughs> um, hit me up on, uh, Instagram. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. SoundCloud and Spotify are the main ones in Instagram. No, awesome. So, Hey, he said, Hey, TikTok help, go help him out. He really yeah. needs it, I guess. Yeah. But uh, I, I'm going to end it off on this. I'm going to remember a, a memory of you. you. You probably don't remember because I met you like years, years ago when I used to live in PB on Grand and I had a roommate. We have a mutual friend who used to be my roommate, Moses. Mo. And, yeah. No, and he was that's my how I know and you. He was my roommate. <laughs> now you spring it on me at the end. And so we used to. It's like I'm on a game to, show right we now. Used to throw, <laughs> we used to throw these crazy epic house parties there. Yeah. And I remember I would come home from work. Yeah. Come home from work and I'd be like, what the fuck is why is there people on the why is there people on the floor? Why are why are people still DJing at seven in the morning in the yeah, house? Yeah. <laughs> that was, that was back in the hay too. But that was bro. like I remember you, Scooter, yeah. Lavelle, like all yeah. these cats used to go to the house. Yeah. And I was like, 
and this is before I knew all of you. And I was like, who the fuck are these people? And, like, <laughs> and then Mo, he Look was at like, you now. We got you. I know, right? And Mo was like, and Mo would be like, these are my Dirty Beats fans. It's like, what? I was like, That's what? such a great Mo thing to yeah, say. And, yeah. go, and I go, what the fuck is Dirty Beats? And at that point, you know, he's like, you know, that's uh, house music. And yeah. I was like, well, fucking call it house music, dude. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's but, so good. What a great story. But, but yeah, that was a fond memory of him, yeah. like encountering all you when I was like, yeah. starting out here in San I Diego. Mean, you got a baptism by fire I man know. i mean like literally <laughs> <laughs> well look i mean hopefully next time you can come back and we'll do the whole guitar yeah we'll guitar. do a live set the, the guitar and guitar and yeah we'll do a little bit of a i call it like a hybrid live set that'll be amazing so yeah. again hey thank you for tuning Thanks, in guys for having me man that was fun oh, thank no thank you for being here hey don't forget we're doing this every last monday of the month and it's an electronic music series this is episode two up next, we don't know who we're going to have. We'll figure that out. So you got to stay posted to the socials and uh, see you next time. Yes, peace. We're out. Nice. All right. Thanks, guys.